Today we will start talking about the twin motion again, but the first I will show you what we will use like a reference object. As you can see here is the just simple object in my Revit, uh, this uh, all like just office building without uh, nothing, some special things. Anyway, it's uh, pretty enough to render it in twin motion. So, and right now we will switch to the twin motion. I will just make the some fast overview and after that we will start talking about the some features in twin motion. The first thing I wanna say twin motion is totally free, so we cannot compare twin motion and lumen right now because uh, lumen you should get, uh, you can get only with the money, the twin motion you can get for free, so it's not uh, it's not um, like enemy or uh, something like that uh, anymore for each other. It's two different programs because Twin Motion is free, Lumen it's not. Okay, um, what software I can compare with that software? Nothing. We cannot uh, find anything except the Unreal Engine. But the thing Unreal Engine and Twin Motion using the same launcher. What does launcher? They are using the Epic game, so we can say Twin Motion and Unreal is the same. Just Unreal, you have the mon function. Twin Motion, you have a bit less function. And I tell you one thing: you can transfer your Twin Motion model to Unreal model to Unreal Engine. So now I will say Twin Motion and Unreal is one thing. Okay, so we finish with our uh, with the compare software. Let's go back here. And as you can see, now I'm using my laptop. Uh, the configuration of my laptop you can find below this video. And as you can see, this is pretty much working, pretty well working. Here is nine million po polygons. So this is pretty pretty high uh, number actually for this simple model. Anyway. As you can see, FPS is quite good. Uh, of course, on the uh, on my um, uh, viewport, it's not so good uh, picture. As you can see, this is so much blur, and here it's the working. Uh, I mean, the um, reflection working not so well. Anyway, I can change, for example, uh, my if I will go to the preference quality to the ultra. It will be work uh, on my PC, but it's not was so comfortable to work. So, and why I need to use the ultra in my viewport if I will, uh, after that, I will just render it. So, okay. The, also, what uh, I found here really interesting, and let's start. First thing, you can change everything separate. So, let's I'll show you. As you can see, here is my building. Here, the building in different folder. And I can choose each uh, of that object separate. As you can see, uh, you can, for example, even delete. You can hide some uh, some the parts of your building, uh, or you just can it. Uh, I don't know, like uh, move it to the other place. So you can do that. For example, now all the my uh, aluminium uh, frame will go somewhere. So yeah, you can do that. Just Control Z and let's go back. Uh, so as you understand, you can manipulate with each object in uh, Twin Motion. This is feature number one. Uh, you no need now care about your city. So if I will go now to the plan, you will see, no, not plan, I mean the, if I will go to the fly mode, you will see we get here the parish. So anyway, you can load here any um, any um, like city uh, from the map. How you can do that? Actually easy, you should just go here to the urban, here you will find the context, uh, in the context you will find the game context, and now loading the map. After that you should just find some, um, let's say some city, let's let's make the parish again, It's uh, by default it's parish. Uh, so uh, I will use, for example, I wanna um, use this, uh, this area. I just click into grab tool, and now I will put it under here. Okay, so now I need only this area. If you want to zoom, just use scroll the uh, middle uh, bottom mouse and you can scroll it and now you will grab more area. And for me, it's enough for that one. And just grab it. Just give it like uh, one or two minutes to uh, Twin Motion to get uh, this area. And ta-ta, this is area already here. And as you can see, this area already in a folder, so you can just select the folder and place your city everywhere where you want. This is not finished actually. Let's say you wanna um, place your, let's say I'll do the high speed for the my camera. Uh, let's say the second uh, or oh, already third future, uh, you wanna place your building somewhere here, but here it's already have some buildings. So what you can do, 
select this building and just delete or you can hide it. So this is really pretty uh, nice thing because you can show your situation before and after. Uh, and for example, you don't need delete, you just can hide it, just render uh, with your building, after that hide your building and uh, switch on this building and you're showing situation before. So it's pretty good thing and it's working very really well. So what you will have also with this thing, if you will select your, uh, for example, these buildings, you can ch change even the height of these buildings. Yeah, like this, why not? It's not, it's not a problem. Uh, as you can see, this really flexible thing and you no need to care about your city because uh, when you will finish your building in Revit, you just simply loading inside, uh, you just exporting to the twin motion and inside twin motion, you just loading up your, your map. Pretty, pretty nice thing. For example, sometimes we are architects, of course, we are okay about the plans. Uh, we need to render some plans or we want to get some interesting view. In Twin Motion, you are able to create it. Uh, if you are using the Lumen, you know the one problem. Try to make the plan view. This is really hard to in Lumen because um, actually you don't have orientation camera there. This I don't know why they uh, don't uh, doing this thing, but in Twin Motion you will find it. Just click here on the and you will find here orientation views. Let's use orientation and here you will find all the views what you want. For example, let's go to the plan view Ta -ta, and we get the plan view and as you can see it's um, stylizing the plan view like from the map. Of course now my graphics is really worse, it's really, it look, looks really tough but when you will render it will, will looks okay. I will render later on and I will show you. Anyway you will change for example your view for example to right side, you will get something like that and you can create the skyline for example. You can change to the left side and where is my building? My building it's not so tall that's why I cannot see my building. And as you can see, it really looks uh, pretty well. Anyway, you also can change uh, for, for example, to the uh, isometric view. Just make the custom and here is your isometric view. Pretty well thing to use it. So use it if you're interesting. And we can back to the perspective. And uh, here is perspective with nice graphics. Also what I like here actually, uh, the brushes. Okay, uh, for example, uh, here you cannot uh, like in Lumion just by one click create uh, the grass everywhere, but you have the brushes. So let's go to the uh, vegetation, here you will find uh, vegetation and for example here the grass. Let's click on the grass and as you can see here we have diameter and density. So yeah, I think you everything uh, understand how what does mean the diameter, uh, diameter and density. And let's try to make for example grass here. You just brush it where you want. If you want a more diameter, just make the more and brush it. And as you can see, we get the uh, here the grass, as you can see. So uh, even you can change the density. For example, we want some flowers here. Let's make the diam diameter like the one meter maybe. Just let's say I will do like one meter. And we can do like this. Just we can paint. So this is really cool. We can uh, disincrease the density. And now it will be not so much uh, the flowers as we did before. Okay, even we can brush uh, with the trees, for example here the trees, let's brush the tree. Uh, I will increase to the 10 meter and let's draw the, my trees. You can place the trees like this. So it's a bit different like in Lumen because in Lumen you should make the align with the trees. Here you can just brush. For example, if you're creating like the forest, here let's make the forest. You can make like the diameter like let's say 25 meter or 30 meter. Let's make the 30 meter density like uh, 25 meters and just click one time and you will create, for example, here your, um, your forest like this, like this, or maybe some increase like that, maybe something like that, even like that, you can add as much as you want. So, and you get something like this, as you can see. And you can easily delete like that. Just delete everything what we no need. We no need these trees, no need these trees, and that one we also no need. And we can delete one by one. So this is pretty nice thing. 
Now let's go to the, back to the Revit. Here you will find Twinmotion dynamic link. This is really interesting feature. Uh, let's uh, use the settings first. Uh, you can see here we can export BIM data. So what is it? I'll show you later on. We can use the even uh, materials from Twinmotion or you can keep it uh, some objects for and materials from the Revit. It's only up to you. Okay, so I will not will change here anything, but as you can see here, pretty a lot different uh, settings. So let's go to, to the Twinmotion. As you can see, I opened new scene and here nothing. As you can see, nothing here. And let's uh, see in Twinmotion. It will take time. Okay, the first thing, what is that BIM uh, information? Now you can see here on the right screen BIM information. We can change to the statistic, for example, you already saw it, statistic. We can change now to the BIM information. Now if you click on some, for example, this wall, let's say I want to know what is at the wall, I just clicking on this wall, and you can see, okay, the name of the wall, this one, here the color facing, and blah, 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 all information we get here. So the, we can get really beam information from the, our model. So it's not just now 3D. It's now a model with some data. Even the thickness, as you can see, we can get it. Uh, so this is really pretty cool thing. Okay, uh, also I want to show you the phasing. This is the last thing what I want to show. Let's say, um, for example, let's try, we will do some, some simple thing uh, with this inference, let's say. Okay, uh, as you can see, I'm not using 3D Max. I don't using some uh, other 3D uh, packages uh, or software. I'm using only Twinmotion and Revit. For example, I wanna uh, make the phasing for this um, entrance, for example. How I can do that? Let's go, for example, to the uh, phasing, as you can see, and let's create the new phasing. I'll create the new phasing and I'll call it so, like phase, okay? And now I wanna uh, hide this wall and I wanna hide that wall. Uh, also this frame. Let's do the was by one by one. It's, it's not will takes a lot of the time. Uh, like this and like this. Okay. And let's create the new one uh, face. I, I I will unswitch off this face. And now I will switch on everything what I will what I was switch off before. Where is the last one? Let's let's I will find it like this. I'll do. Okay, and then switch off here. So what we get? If I'm choosing uh, uh, phase number one, I don't have here the entrance. I will switch off to the phase number two. I have my entrance. So without Revit, without any 3D uh, software, you can create, for example, phasing. You no need think how you will hide it, how you will do the something interesting. If you are interested about the twin motion, just let me know below these comments, and I will make really big tutorial how we can uh, render from the, for example, some scene, how we can export from the uh, Revit, how we can manipulate with the materials, phasing, BIM uh, information, and everything what you wanna know. Just let me know below the comments, and I will understand. I need to create the tutorial about the twin motion. Today is finished, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo script or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.